श्रीमते रामानुजाय नमः Unanimously accepted by philosophy or theosophy or anthroposophy that ignorance is the root of all evils and wisdom is the solution. Science is the process by which that wisdom is aimed at. As there are innumerable dimensions with innumerable depths and various divisions. The pursuit of impeccable knowledge that is also untiring, perpetual. In the field of science, now we have come to the crown of science, the triad. That is, the systematics, cybernetics, and informatics. If the wisdom is personified as a jewel and there are innumerable ornaments, we can clearly explain and establish the concept that this triad is the crown of everything that also makes the rule of wisdom to be well established in a perfect throne with a precise structure. I want to establish this by taking it upon the anthro-philosophical status of systems of reality of our traditional wisdom in which we say there is Tattva, there is Sammandha and Vyavahara. Tattva is reality or real substance which we call as a system. The system is defined as a conglomeration of various organs which have been binded inside a compound for a common purpose for a directed action. So that is the system, that is reality at that two. Second is Sammandha, the mutual behavioral interaction as well as the interface that exists between two things for mutual communication and productive end that is known as cybernetics or Sammandha and by which this knowledge or this system which we call as information, your productive signal is transferred, transmitted, revealed, delivered by multimodular analytical beings which we call as informatics. So, Tattva, Sambandha and Vyavahara is systemics, cybernetics and informatics that basically forms the ground of all philosophical existences and elucidations. And now we have to stop with the systems. Because we know that the world is comprised of innumerable systems, living systems, natural systems, developed systems, modified systems, emerging systems, obsolete systems, novel systems, futuristic systems, innumerable divisions of systems used to have. Each and every part and particle of this world is nothing but a system. And they act in two major ways. One, they exist as a separate system with separate behavior. They also have innumerable systems which are known as embedded systems inside which forms as a compound for multiple functioning. Number three, it serves as a component for some other compound for a common and directed principle and action. So these things are very philosophical in nature. <coughs> Basically coming into the brain section or the most sensational section of this triad science, that is cybernetics, <coughs> that is a basic explanation. That is a normal explanation. There is a fundamental explanation, there is a theoretical explanation, there is extensive explanation, there is expressive explanation and there is a metaphysical and metaphorical explanations for each and every term. But basically cybernetics they used to define it as study of the structure of regulatory systems, the system which is based on regulation. What is regulation? Regulation of action and benefit end is known as perfection. Regulation of the end of any function is known as precision. Regulation of time is known as punctuality. So these things are time basis, then end basis, action basis, process basis, base basis. All of these various things, they form a regulatory system. The system which has a base, a process, an end, which is recycled into the same base, which is a perpetual, never-ending way of functioning. It is known as anavastha. It is infinite as well as it is perpetual. And these things are known as regulatory systems. Basically, this science is based on two major theories. One is Tattva Vijnana, second is Niyati or Niyama Vijnana. Tattva Vijnana is known as systems theory. And Niyati Vijnana, Niyama Vijnana is known as control theory. Control theory is based on dynamic systems, 
I have already told it must have some regulation. In dynamic systems, that there is dynamism, dynamism is effective action directed by a force going towards a goal. In all dynamic systems, the output is scientifically defined as a reference. There must be a controller, either mechanical, metamechanical, metamechanical, or mechanical, there must be a controller. And the controller should manipulate the input and adjust to such a level that he is getting the desired output, just as we are having in machines and automobiles. <coughs> so based on these things, the controller system is that which manipulates the input as per the desired output. It may be homogenetic or heterogenetic, it may be a closed loop or open loop controller system. Yes. This is the basic of control, which is there in all living beings, all non-living beings, all forces, or any other such fusions, fissions, and various other hybridizations that we are yet to perform. This is a common rule, which is unerasable, indelible in the mark of nature's imprint. So nobody can move from these things. So this control is based on various levels. Adaptative, hierarchic, optimal, then intelligent oriented, robust, then trim and response systems in which a set point is with a lot of reset sequences that is trim and respond. There are innumerable things like uh, stochastic, stochastic control is there in modern machines. This is known as the control system. And now we are going to deal with the second system. Why I am saying is even to realize God, there must be a system knowledge and control knowledge. In yoga, mysticism, in Vedanta, philosophy, in livelihood, jivana, in Vijnana, science, in Samaja, society, this is a basic concept of understanding the control and systems, <coughs> which has made cybernetics to give a universal status that encompasses and embraces all divisions of knowledge. That is the greatness of these things. So all of these various divisions of control has made the persons to understand control with various things. One is nature, second is man, and third is machine. It has created a trilateral way of understanding the diversity in factors in these three major entities. What is systems theory? It is understanding the complex systems. There are different types of systems. Intricate system, intricate system, obscure system, abysmal system, innate system, exocentric system, endocentric system, polycentric system, multicentric system. Innumerable systems are there. Complex systems are systems.